Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So it's a girl, Brianna Ayana. So uh, I haven't done a sit down video in a while and um, I got a sponsor and I'm like, why not? Oh, I can't believe I just said that. I got a sponsor. <laughs> but I got a sponsor and I like, I do have a lot of new subscribers um, that I've been gaining for like the past like two or three months. So I just wanted to sit down and like reintroduce myself. Like, I wouldn't say revamp my channel, but like a, a do over. Like a do over here. Yeah. Like that's what I'm thinking. So yeah, so today is a hair sponsor video. Um, I did, um, so a company reached out to me and I'm, you know, I agreed to this video. So um, today's video is sponsored by VV. Can you see that? Yeah, VV Baby Hair. Um, it is an Amazon store. I'm not sure if they have their own like specific website, but if they do, I will link everything down below. So yeah, it is um, a human hair store. And yeah, so they sent me a 14 inch 4x4 closure wig. So I did go in and pluck bleach and um, yeah, pluck and bleach the knots. Um, I didn't co-wash it, I only I only added like purple shampoo to the to the lace but yes I'm gonna go ahead and install it I've been contemplating if I wanted to do like glueless or not glueless but I'm just gonna go with the flow I'm gonna just go ahead and push my edges back real quick and lay the cap down and then once I'm done I'll just come back on So guys, I am not going to do the ball cap method, but I am going to use glue. So I'm using this um, Ebbing Tinted Lace. This is like my first time using it. So yeah, I'm excited. <laughs> Just spraying that so that it's not like really visible under my wig so i'm just taking it off the mannequin so i can come and put it on my head i hope it's snug oh so i'm just gonna cut the the lace off give me one second But yeah guys, so let's get into the like little chit chat part of the video. So um, for those of you who are um, new, like from like my Amazon video or just like you just coming up on my channel, um, my name is Brianna, I am 21 years old, I will be 22, I'm on the 26th of this month um, and today is July 11th so in 15 days so yeah um, I'm gonna be 22 I'm a Leo you probably like may get Leo vibes I'm a Leo um, I live in Texas um, yeah I think that's about it right now I'm not going to school I'm just working and working on my YouTube channel so yeah I think that's the basic oh I don't know some yeah yadi so yeah <laughs> I am a Jamaican born and raised I'm almost I moved to America like 
the one month before my 18th birthday so i am a jamaican yeah because a lot of people was guessing my accent and stuff because i don't know um part of me just like want to just talk like oh i talk to my friend on the phone but and another part of me is like oh i need to like sound a little bit proper yeah so yeah um i did ask a few of you guys on youtube i'm not sure if anyone answered on youtube and on my instagram story i'm just playing out the questions real quick I'm gonna check YouTube if anyone responded. Un momento. Yeah, no one responded. You guys need to interact with me more. Like, come on. I know I'm not the best person with posting and stuff, but give a girl a little credit, please. All right, so I'm just gonna use the Instagram ones. So, the first question is, are you single? Sometimes. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding, babe. I'm kidding. I am in a relationship. I have been in a relationship um, going on almost two years now. Yeah, so I am in a relationship. Yeah. But yeah, so that was the first question. And then Kamali going to ask me. <laughs> Five plus six, eleven six. Then um the fragrance family guys go check out the fragrance family if you're in Jamaica or you have loved one in Jamaica if you know everybody likes to smell good everybody like perfume so check out the fragrance family on Instagram I'm gonna put their page on the screen um if you wanna send someone a gift or if you wanna purchase for yourself big up Sue <laughs> but yeah hold on guys I need to focus. Guys, sometimes I really want to just shave my widow's peak. I used to when I was little. But no, not so much. And then, another question is, where do you shop the most? Um, pretty much the thing, to be honest, if I'm gonna order anything from anywhere, that's not necessary. That's not jeans because I've never ordered jeans from them. The only place I've ordered jeans from is Fashion Nova, and like in person, I'll go in like American Eagle. But yeah, what is that? Excuse me. Um, that noise. If you guys heard that. But yeah, it's a pretty little thing. Um, uh, from like my Miami outfits, I did order from Shein. I wanted to do a haul, but like there was just a lot of alterations that I had to do. Um, this is a top from Shein that I bought, but like, look how long the sleeves are. I don't know if I really like that. I feel like that's doing a little bit much. But yeah, pretty little thing is normally my go-to. But their sizing is off. I never get, I can order one size in this thing and I fit, it fit how I want it to fit. We're not too tight. And then I can order another thing the same size and it's like, me assuming that it but yeah, the next question is pet peeves, unpopular opinions, aches. Mm. Pet peeves. I really hate when people lie to me or people want to like act like act like I'm an idiot. And I really hate I really hate when people <laughs> when people make it seem like my feelings aren't valid. I feel like that's what's one one thing I hate. I don't know. Yeah. Unpopular one of the unpopular opinions. Do I have any? I don't know. I feel like I don't know. Off the top of my head right now, I can't say I do have an unpopular opinion. Oh my guess. about that okay. um, how do you I'm assuming how do you build confidence honestly just focus on you and it's whatever that makes you happy 
like I'm the type of person where I will people please people please people please and then at, at some point I am no longer pleasing myself because I'm doing this for Mark Luke John you know I'm doing this for everybody else and everybody else is not doing this for me so uh, yeah, it comes a point in time where you have to just be like fuck it you know I need to focus on myself and your dreams and your goals not gonna happen until you're putting effort into it it's not just gonna happen because you want it or be like oh I want to be you know like I want this I want to do this I want to be able to do that it's not gonna happen unless you work for it but yeah guys I've been watching a lot of motivational speaking lately I don't know why I'm just you know rebuilding myself I'm um, figuring out who I am but yeah add some Nairobi it oh, guys this hair is really nice and I can't tell you when last oh sorry I can't tell you when last I've, I've worn I'm a, a five four by four closure I can't tell you when last I did that honestly it's like crazy this is looking real good guys oh my god that looks so good and the hair is really soft it's not really thick but I like that I hate curly hair that's like oh, like just thick 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 go away I hate curly hair like that but yeah it's really it's like it's not too thin to the point where I feel like it does you know that's the first thing people are gonna notice about it but I like it I'm gonna define the curls and then at some point comb it out so it can still have that big look so but back into the questions while I let this dry down um, what do you look for in a man? Um, ambition. Um, you know, confidence. I don't like an insecure man or a man that I have to... Um, how do I say it? What's that word? That I have to keep proving to them. Like, you know, I can't deal with that. I like a strong, independent man. And I like that. I like a man that has, like has already has something going on for them i don't know if that makes sense i'm not a gold digger but i'd rather to be the one that's working on myself i don't know that sounds weird <laughs> but i don't know and then what keeps me motivated um just me like actually experiencing like my dreams like what like how I would imagine or how I would hope my life is I just be like oh my god I can actually like live in that moment I feel like that's what keeps me motivated like like for example um, I am embarking on like a new like um, health journey I, I am doing it to also look good but to mostly feel good um, I don't know if anyone knows but I am a type 2 diabetic and my a1c has been really good I've been really good um, with eating and stuff and getting it under control I don't take insulin I only take like medication like pills but yeah so I've just been going on a health journey and before what I lack even not just in that journey is consistency like even here on my YouTube people people can tell that I'm an inconsistent YouTuber and that's probably why I don't get the interaction that I want is because I'm not posting as frequently or I'm not doing this or I'm not doing that you know like it's just just a bunch of things added together but yeah so I've been trying to be consistent and stuff so yeah <laughs> yeah and I'm like I'm just imagining it I'm already I'm having long scale victories by go I've been going to the gym consistently and eating um, healthy consistently for about a month now and I'm really proud of myself. I have non-scale victories. I'm noticing my face is looking a little bit smaller or something is fitting me a little bit differently or me being able to do a higher weight um, in a set. It's just like, just those things is like keeping me motivated and just like making me feel good and just like, I'm just trying to be the best me I can be. Like, you know, I need to 
put all my energy myself like love myself i need to fall in love with myself i don't know i'm just going on a rant but yeah i just that's just what i want to do but yeah <laughs> ryan asks um what's the last thing i ate um i'm just talking about my healthy journey but i had like a piece of cheesecake me and my boyfriend like shared a slice of cheesecake so i guess it's in moderation i didn't eat one whole cheesecake and he ate most of it so i ate like a quarter but yeah so guys i'm gonna run in the bathroom and get the blow dryer and sprays on the lace and then i'll be right back all right so i went ahead and did that so it's time to cut the lace off I don't have those little share things that everybody uses. I forgot to buy them when I went to the beauty supply store. But I just like drag the, the scissors across so it's not straight. Mm -mm. I'm not even trying to gas myself, but this looked the fuck good. <laughs> That's crazy. See how quick I did that? <laughs> With a swiftness. Um, I probably will have to tie it down, but just for the sake of the video. Yeah, but I do have some other things that I just want to talk to you guys about. Um, I know I've said before oh, I'm going to be consistent, but this time I'm actually going to be consistent. I'm, um, I, was, I started school and I decided that I'm not going to school for the right reason because I want to get this, um, bachelor, this degree in this and to go work into that field. I don't want to do that. I'm going to school. I was going to school to make my family happy and it just felt like a chore to the point where it's not something that I wanted to do. I'll wait till the last minute to do it and stuff but nah I wasn't feeling that so I didn't bring a brush. Ooh, that looks so good once I brush it out it will look even better and again it is a 4x4 four four wig I don't remember if it is transparent or just like regular Swiss lace um, but again I will leave everything in the description box so yeah Probably from when I was plucking. I forgot to comb it out. Alright, I'm gonna do my baby hair and then tie it down and then brush it out after. saying earlier guys I just feel like um, this is a new stage in my life where I'm not only growing up but I'm realizing my, my flaws and working towards them I'm not like sweeping under a rug not like that so I'm just working towards my goals and stuff I was giving trouble but yeah so I do plan to start um some new content um i should you should see my miami vlog before this 
so my Miami vlog should already be posted um, I know it's a forever <laughs> but I was just so many things that happened I just started working back again and yeah it was just a lot going on I'm just fucking it so the baby here can look better. I'm just gonna speed through this, guys. <laughs> But yes, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I loved how my hair came out. I hope you you like it as well. But yeah, so um, just look out for more content. Again, I have a lot of surprise for you. <laughs> but yeah, so um, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And yeah, make sure you subscribe, girl.